In this video, we'll discuss how to quickly and accurately read the various ways data can be presented to you in the UCAT quantitative reasoning questions. While sometimes the question will simply read a block of text, in a lot of QR questions, you will be shown a table, a graph, a chart, a diagram, or any combination of these. Also, while some of the harder questions may require some thought or extended calculation, more often than not, these questions can be solved very quickly as long as you're able to get a grasp of what you're looking at and what particular piece of information from the figure shown you need. This video will give you some insights into how to quickly and accurately read supplementary figures and extrapolate all information needed in order to correctly answer the question. This question presents you with two different graphs, which can initially be a little overwhelming, but the first step is to have a look and quickly understand what each graph is showing you. Graph 1 shows the number of all boys and girls in the school who do a particular sport, but it doesn't specify whether those boys and girls play a second sport on top of that. Whereas graph 2 shows the number of students that do play two sports. The next step is to isolate the information you need from the graph based on what the question is asking. In this case, we are interested in finding the number of boys who only swim. Therefore, we need to focus on the bars that only represent swimming boys. From graph 1, that number will be 21. That is, 21 boys in total swim, whether as a single sport or in addition to another. Moving on to graph 2, we can see that 11 boys swim and play hockey, while 2 boys swim and play football. That's 13 boys in total who play two sports, one of which is swimming. Out of the 21 swimming boys in total, we subtract 13, who play an additional support, and are left with 8, which is the correct answer. You can see how the question can look slightly overwhelming at first, not because it requires a great deal of calculation, but because it bombards you with a lot of data for you to make sense of. But if you focus on the question being asked and quickly work through the figures, isolating only the relevant information, you will reach the correct answer in no time. The first thing to do again is to understand what the graph is meant to represent. In this case, you can see that it shows a comparison between various expenses across three different cities. You're asked to calculate the difference between rent and bills expenses of a family living in London and one living in Belfast. The question further specifies that by bills, it means utility and council tax. Therefore, you need to isolate the bars that deal with utility, council tax and rent in London and sum those figures up and then compare them with the sum of the same in Belfast. In London, those things would cost 800 plus 250 plus 200, which equals 1,250 pounds. Whereas in Belfast, they'd cost 600 plus 200 plus 150, which equals 950 pounds. The difference between the two is 300 pounds and therefore the correct answer is D. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.